I have a question. I have a statement from uh, Show Me God by Fred Heron. I'd like you to help me out because I don't understand it. This is a relationship to the Big Bang and the biblical cre uh, creation account being consistent. So one would tr want to try to prove the Big Bang. And they say that the microwave background radiation is the greatest evidence for the Big Bang. But I'm a chemical engineer and I don't understand background radiation. Okay, the cosmic background radiation that Fred Heron refers to in that book is the radiation left over from the creation event. And because it's from the creation event, it pervades the entirety of the universe. So everywhere you look, you see this cosmic background radiation. And Fred is right. This is where we get our strongest scientific evidence uh, for a transcendent cosmic creation event. Uh, I'll address that tomorrow, but I want to make one important caveat. It's the strongest scientific evidence we have. It's also the most complicated scientific evidence we have. And often when I'm talking to a lay audience, I prefer to give them things that are much simpler to understand to show them scientifically we live in a Big Bang universe. Like the fact that we can look at distant galaxies. And the farther away we look, the more crowded together are the galaxies. Well, that's a good demonstration that we must be living in an expanding universe because we can actually see through photographs that the galaxies are getting farther and farther apart. Uh, another easy piece of evidence is that we can measure this cosmic background radiation in distant gas clouds where you're looking back in time. And we do that, we notice that the temperature of that radiation gets hotter and hotter as we look farther and farther away and we can measure exactly how hot it is and see if it matches what the Big Bang creation model would predict for the cooling of the universe. And that's been done at nine different distances and it's right on the money. The Big Bang uh, predicts exactly uh, what the astronomers are observing. So those are probably the two easiest to understand pieces of evidence, uh, <coughs> but the temperature ripples and the cosmic background radiation that Fred Hearn refers to uh, actually is much more persuasive in the eyes of scientists, but it's fraught with a lot of messy mathematics.